Hey, Diane Sykes here, and I am really excited about this. So for years, I've always um, done a vision board, and I've invited my clients to do it, and I've done whole trainings on, on vision boarding, and over the years, it's just been awesome in my journey and, and my own personal evolution and learning so many beautiful things and cultivating a, a new way to to really live from the place that your frequency actually matches you know this vision that you have and and I've picked up lots of amazing amazing tools that I work with my clients on you know on the daily and one thing that um, we've been practicing since the beginning of the year is creating your vision around the feelings that you're calling in. So at the beginning of the year, I had all the clients create in each of the areas of their, their lives, right? So it's relationships, it's environment, it's business and or, you know, career finances and health, your, your body. So those four areas you know what are the feelings you want to feel how do you want to feel in your body how do you want to feel in your business how do you want to feel in your environment how do you want to feel in your relationships and the feelings when we when we get into the place where we're feeling those feelings that's embodiment and that's really when your soul your mind and your body are all kind of on board and synced up and so Everything comes into alignment and it ignites you and you are living in that frequency. So if you want to feel powerful in your body, what are the things that are going to support you in feeling powerful in your body? And then you show up moment to moment being powerful, supporting yourself and feeling powerful. And that's the vibration you're putting out. So that's what you create. That's that's what that's what is. That is what becomes your reality. And so then we change the whole construct, the mental construct of a vision board. Because for years, and I did it too, vision boarding was like, I want to achieve all these goals, and they're all outside of me. And when I attain them, then I'll feel powerful. And then I'll feel happy. Then I'll feel like enough. Then I'll feel because when you do that and you put them outside of you, then you are literally sending an energy out to the universe that is, I'm, I'm actually not enough and I require these things outside of myself in order to be enough. So you're vibrating a frequency, an energy of not enough, of lack, of scarcity. I did it, I know, for years. And I was like, why can't I ever, I'm manifesting like a, you know what, like a mofo. And I'm visualizing, I'm visioning stuff every single day, yet wasn't happening. And then I realized it's, it's energy never lies. Energy matches energy. You vibrate and then you, you, it's like tuning forks. You pick up vibration that matches vibration. So it all comes down to energy, which for me is totally dope because as a physiologist, I'm like, yeah, everything is totally energy. And I'm like stepping into the like quantum physiology. It's like what we vibrate is what we, what we are. It's not even vibrate what we attract when we are vibrating and we are it. So if you're vibrating lack, you're, you're, you're in lack. If you're vibrating, abundance you see it everywhere you know it you are it so creating a frequency board once you have stepped into you know like declaring how you want to feel in every area of your life and being devoted to it in every moment being devoted to calling in those feelings feeling those feelings and doing things that align with supporting you in feeling those feelings then it's really not a vision board as much as it is I like to call it a frequency board and an energy grid it out so you create your you know and I have some here because I like to play and I like to replace mine every so often but you, know, you create these images that you can hang where you look at them and it's a trigger. It's a reminder. So it's like, oh, yes, like I want to feel powerful in my body. And these images 
support me in feeling powerful in my body right now. And then it's not, oh, I want to, oh, I want, someday I'll have this body. Someday I'll, I'll do, a, you know, some sup lessons. Someday I'll take my daughter to Miami. It's like, oh, these, these make me feel this way and I'm excited and I'm exuding that and I, and I am that. I'm surrounding myself by that. And then it just becomes simple and easy. Like, oh, well, of course, because I already feel excited. I already feel powerful. Of course, I am those things. And of course, because I'm already whole, I am completely worthy of taking a dope ass trip to Miami with my daughter. You know, that supports me and feeling excited, which I'm already calling in. And then it's never something separate you hold outside of yourself. There's many other things that you can do also to just really pick up that energy. And, and I mean, I've loved crystals since I was a little kid, just because they're so pretty to look at. But crystals carry very, very high frequency on the planet. So I have my little, my little crystal grid over here and, and you know, every, each crystal that I have is meaningful to me. So even if you don't believe in the frequency of crystals, which I absolutely do a hundred percent, but that's like a whole other training. It's do, look at things that make you feel good that like, oh, I'm, I'm so worthy of it staring at, at beautiful things. And, you know, amethyst is, is one that I love. This one, my sister, this is a jade elephant that my sister picked up in Indonesia. It's really special to me. And jade is, is a, is a stone that, that really is, has very familial, like lineage power for, for me. So again, just being able to look at these things, being in their frequency, their vibration, they light me up. They support me. Candles as well. So I, I got this super cool candle from one of the crystal shops, local crystal shops shaman's dawn and this one is for prosperity so i'll light that in the smell alone so i'm sitting here and i'm doing my work i'm feeling excited and i've got my frequency board and it's like you're you're in that energy that that you want to be in and then your your board is just your reminder so nothing is ever outside of you nothing is ever something that you're going to attain someday when you get the money or someday when you get the body, you'll take the vacation. It all gets to be your experience. You just choose into those feelings. And then from that place, you become the vibrational match for whatever it is that you're envisioning. It just is that. And that's the alchemy. That's the magic. That's the science because it really is. So I hope that was helpful. I know a lot of people love to do vision boards, but find themselves kind of yearning. And that yearning energy is like, I know, I know. <laughs> that yearning energy turns into like chase. And then it turns into like almost a desperation and a hopelessness. And man, if you knew you had a choice, why would you choose that? Because you do have a choice. You can just choose to be like, I want to feel awesome right now. And you know what? Like staring at these pictures makes me feel awesome. It's that simple. And when you feel awesome, you open up the possibility, the infinite possibilities to anything. And you become a part of what the universe wants for you, which is to fully support you. And then opportunities show up, experiences, money. And it's just, it's just natural. So if you want more on how to create a frequency board and an energy grid, do a crystal grid, um, hit me up in the comments. I'd be happy to uh, jam out with you. It's what I do. It's what I do with all of my high level clients. And it's just one of the most fun experiences. And it's one that is constant, right? It's, it's every day. You get to look at it. It's, it's a living, breathing experience. And it is awesome. So I hope you enjoy your Thursday. Peace out. Frequency. Whew, right? You choose.